Hey guys, so welcome back to another edition of our Stocks by Request where we feature the top stocks that you guys requested via social media. For those who are asking about Dito, Converge, Globe, and PLDT, we posted that two videos prior to this. And for those who are asking about BDO, PHA, Ali, APL, ASIN, and SM, we posted that the video before this. So we're not tackling that in this video. But if you want to watch them, learn more about the rudiments of technicals for those stocks, just watch the videos prior to this. That being said, this video, we're going to analyze and double down DPI, URC, AC, ABA, BSC, Meralco, JG Summit, and MM. This will all be under the lens of technical analysis. So if you guys are ready, you guys are excited, and you guys are learning on a Sunday afternoon, comment, I'm ready, comment, I'm excited. So for BPI, this is how it actually looks. So if you look at BPI here, it's currently progressing under a sideways notion. So you can see where I encircled right here. Uh, the MACD is confirming the flatness also of the moving average. But BPI as of now is still moving sideways. It's still consolidating and it has been this way since November. Please do note parameters supporting this consolidation is the MACD and the 20 and the 50 day moving average. Main support that we have right now for BPI is 79.3. Main resistance that we have right now is 88.9. Currently, though, we have the candlestick or the last trading day uh, break past the 20 and 50 day moving average. So, that being said, if we see a continuous breakout from the 20 and the 50 day moving average, the next possible area for BPI to go is the 88.75 level. If it does not, then the retracement back to 79.3 is possible. So for those who bought it because of the breakout from 20, the 20 and 50 day moving average, your short term resistance is 88.8. .8. For those who bought it from the bounce, your target is also almost the same level. Next stop is URC. By the way, I'm making a video on Monday Missing which is a consumption company, consumption brand, which you can also peg it as something that's close to almost in the same level as URC, Pure Foods, and also Century Pacific. Now, similar to BPI, you can see right here you know, that URC is also trying to move past a sideways motion. Uh, the difference along with URC is it hit the 200-day moving average uh, just last week also, January 29, or or six days ago, six trading days ago, hit the 200-day moving average, then got confirmed um, Monday that the 200 moving average was legit, and it started to bounce back up. Now, for URC, we're right here at the point where looking at it from a moving average perspective, URC bounced the 200-day moving average, is breaking out past the 100-day moving average. The next areas where it could possibly go is right here, 150, where the 50-day moving average is then right here at the 161 mark where the resistance that i've plotted uh, is generally on so please do note that uh, urc tried to hit that last december 18 then again last january 12 so for the past two months it's been trying to do so but it has not uh, broken past that particular level and if i'll zoom out further it tried to do that also february 2020 then january 2020 then it the last time it went above the 160 level was september 23 2019 Stretching URC out also, I just like to note this, you have a progression of an uptrend that got broken. So if it does not really break from the 160 mark, there's a real narrative that we could see it at least consolidate here. 135 main support, 160 main resistance level for URC. Next stock that I'd like to mention is AC. AC, um, this is how I'll peg it. No? A lot of the stocks that we've seen, especially the large cap stocks, have been sold down the past few days. And that's what happened last week or two weeks ago. Then last week, we started to see everything bounce. So the difference between URC is URC bounced um, from the 200-day moving average. For AC, it bounced from the 100-day moving average. And for AC, your main resistance, at least for the short term right now, is 800 if it does, if it breaks past that next possible area for it to go, so 50-day moving average, which is at 821 to as high as 864 to the resistance that I've plotted. Main support right now is at the 756 level, and this is the consolidatory uh, area or the sideways progression of where AC is moving. Um, I just want to note that as of now, MACD is still below the zero line cross. It also is just trying to show you a change in direction, which I think is captured already from this particular bounce and this that particular movement. So that's where we're seeing the, the difference. You now, two weeks ago, drop. Last week, we saw the market start to bounce. So 
we talked about one of the largest banks, one of the largest food consumption uh, companies, and we talked about one of the largest conglomerates. Let's now move to some uh, two-third liners. I want to talk about ABA. So for ABA, this is how it looks. Um, it looks like already that it's starting to consolidate, but because the range is quite big, uh, medyo malaki yung margins niya. Main support level is 0775. If you'll also use the 20-day moving average as a support, you have a support at the 0 0.01 level, and you have your main resistance at the 1.595. So from, from it breaking out from the 20-day moving average, it has gone up already around 27%. And should it continue, you know, from the breakout of the 20-day moving average, it can still go up around 6.9% with this particular um, progression going for ABA. If that does not progress further, then the retracement will just bring it around the 1 peso level. Uh, MACD, if you'll note it here, you know, it's still above zero. Uh, even this entire move that it did where it pushed up, it's still above that particular level. 20, 50, 100, and 200 day moving averages are still um, bullish as of this point in time. Comment below if you're learning. Comment if this is something that's helping you and giving you tremendous value. But please do know that um, no matter what my intentions are to give you tremendous value, please never ever buy, sell, hold, or avoid a stock just because I discuss it here. It's your money. It's your responsibility. Please take the time to analyze the stocks and do create your own due diligence. This video is for information purposes, but the whole goal, the whole narrative of this video is to help you so you get to trade the markets with confidence. But you have to analyze the stocks on your own. You have to take the time to study it because I'll say this over and over. It's your money. It's your responsibility. The best thing that you can do to short change yourself and to lose over a long period of time is to listen to tips, listen to what other people are telling you. Now, let's continue to BSC. Main resistance for BSC is 1.9. Main support is 0 0.695. It's currently holding a short-term support at the 1.1 level, brought about by the 20-day moving average. Some key things, the change in direction that started January 26 is still currently progressing. And as you can see, it's factored in with this change in consolidatory movement that we're seeing right now, uh, RSI is currently oversold already. So uh, one thing that we we would see is if it break if it if the one point one would hold, then there's a narrative that this possible bounce to one point nine is still currently in play. But watch it out, up uh, please. Bantayan you one point one level. If that does not hold next week, possible progression is it goes to the zero point six nine five level. So BSC conditional 1.1 support holds that level next resistance is 1.9 1.1 does not hold progression downward will be close to the 50-day moving average at the 0 0.695 level next let's go now to um larger cap stocks again i want to talk about meralco so for meralco now it had a large drop uh, last two, two weeks ago now the friday um and right after that, it started to massively bounce also. And RSI also captured the bounce from the R, from the oversold devil. So what it did the past few days are a couple of things. Number one, it bounced from the 258 level. RSI already crossed up. It broke out from the 200-day moving average. There were large candles during those move-ups. It broke the 281 resistance. It broke the 20-day moving average. It broke the 50-day moving average. Then last Friday, it had a very, very large candle. But just on a negative note, naman, uh, and I'd like to add, the MACD also started to cross up. Um, on a negative note, naman, that push-up just brought it back to the, the downtrend. So what you need to watch out for next week is it really needs to go above the 293 level for us to have confirmation that the downtrend is broken and it's going to make a push to 302 and if it makes a push to 302 then it's actually showing us that hey it's back to its consolidatory level if not possible narrative is it falls back down again and the downtrend for Meralco will be currently intact so all eyes next week 291 92 93 holds pushes up that level, then we could possibly see Meralco go to 302. If it doesn't, then the downward push with a short-term retracement to 281 is also possible. So I repeat, you have a downward resistance. If it does not go above 291, 292, 293, possible retracement to 281 is possible. But if it breaks past this particular downward slope, target to 302 is also right there. Indicators showing you more bullish movements. 
RSI bounce from oversold levels, MACD starting to cross up. Next is JG Summit. Now, uh, before I continue with JG Summit, Mary Morgan, LTG, uh, we have a Stock Smart Zoom class. If you want to know more on everything that I'm talking about, the candlesticks, the moving averages, the MACD, the RSI, uh, what technical analysis is as a whole, for those who want to consume content via online seminar type of videos, then join us February and the February weekends. I think it's going to be two weekends, Saturday, Sunday, four hours, eight, I think total of uh, four plus four sessions, uh, all in all. Uh, link is in the description below if you want to learn via an online Zoom class. If you want to learn via books, I have links in the description also talking about uh, my five books, which are available via Shopee. For those who want to consume via YouTube, uh, you can go to the technical analysis playlist that we have as well. We have hundreds of videos talking about all of this. Next, um, JG Summit. I think it looks similar also to how URC did that it started to bounce. No? Bounce from 200-day moving, uh, moving average, cross up from the RSI level, breaking out from the 100-day moving average with a large green candle. So next possible area for it to go is the 20 and 50 day moving average, which is at a 70.5 level, which acts as a level of resistance. The next possible resistance is at 74.55 mark, which if you'll plot it, it's right here. And which is also uh, just confirming you know, how sideways JG Summit is and how the overall market condition is. What, what was it? And I'll say it over and over, large drop bounce one, once it hit a strong support and once it hit oversold levels, then now it's on its way to push up. So please do note, so these are the resistances, 20, 50 day moving average. Then you also have the 74.23 resistance level where JG Summit is confirming that it's still currently sideways. Next, I wanna talk about one of the more requested stocks. It's MM, which hasn't really shown us a bit of excitement the past few days because after breaking the 20 day moving average, after breaking this, this uptrend that started in November, it has started already to consolidate. Main resistance still, short-term resistance still right now is 7.12, which is constant to where the 20-day moving average is. Main support right now is 6.4, which is close to where the 50-day moving average is. Uh, this change in direction that MACD captured a couple of days ago, right here, is still, if you'll notice it, also pretty much intact, and it could possibly lead uh, to this possible narrative that it still consolidates. As of now, it's not yet really oversold. It's close to oversold levels. MACD has not crossed below zero, but I'll just repeat this current resistance to watch out for is 7.12. Current, current support to watch out for is a 6.4 level for Mary Mart. Lastly, I wanna look at LTG. I wanna end it with this. LTG, um, second day from the breakout of the 4.13 resistance level. Uh, MACD is confirming that particular breakout. RSI showing you that it's more bullish. So should the breakout continue, next possible resistance is the 15.4 level. So I repeat, 14.11 support. One thing to watch out for for next week is to check if the 14.11 level will hold its ground. If it holds its ground, next target, next resistance is 15.4. Um, after that, next possible resistance is 16.6. The uptrend is still pretty much intact. And if I'll try to make another long and strong uptrend, this is how it could possibly look. You have one big massive uptrend here. You have another uptrend here. And you're seeing the stock break out from 14.11. Your resistances are 15.4, 16.6. And then just a quick reminder to everyone, when you see stocks move like this, wag may emotional, wag madala, don't sell just because you're making money. Don't sell just because you, you want to say, again, it's again, pera na ba kung mahabag iba to pa? You sell based on what your targets are from a support and resistance level. So that's it for now. If this is helping you, put it in the comment section below. And if you want to learn more from this, put in your requests and the stocks that you guys want me to talk about in the comment section below or slide the DM via Patreon or Instagram at Marvin Gerbo. By the way, guys, just a quick reminder, if may nag-message sa inyo na may WhatsApp, na message nyo ako lang sa WhatsApp, na tapos may Bitcoin wallet na humihingi ng pera, that's not me. I will not send you a message uh, telling you to message someone via WhatsApp. Uh, that's a fake account that copied my picture and my name. So that's it for now. Hope you guys are using this weekend to learn and build your skills 
so that you can better yourself in investing to reach your goals of financial freedom. Marvin Germo, I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon, guys, and God bless you all.